Megathrust earthquakes occur at subduction zones at destructive convergent plate boundaries, where one tectonic plate is forced underneath another. These interplate earthquakes are the planet's most powerful, with moment magnitudes MW that can exceed 9.0. Since 1900, all earthquakes of magnitude 9.0 or greater have been megathrust earthquakes. No other type of known terrestrial source of tectonic activity has produced earthquakes of this scale. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Terminology. During the rupture, one side of the fault is pushed upwards relative to the other, and it is this type of movement that is known as thrust. They are a type of dip-slip fault. A thrust fault is a reverse fault with a dip of 45 degrees or less. Oblique slip faults have significant components of different slip styles. The term megathrust does not have a widely accepted rigorous definition, but is used to refer to an extremely large thrust fault, typically formed at the plate interface along a subduction zone such as the Sunder megathrust. It is mostly American terminology. <laughs> <laughs> Areas The major subduction zone is associated with the Pacific and Indian Oceans and is responsible for the volcanic activity associated with the Pacific Ring of Fire. Since these earthquakes deform the ocean floor, they often generate a significant series of tsunami waves. They are known to produce intense shaking for periods of time that can last for up to a few minutes. In Japan, the Nankai megathrust under the Nankai Trough is responsible for Nankai megathrust earthquakes and associated tsunamis. A study reported in 2016 found that the largest megathrust quakes are associated with downgoing slabs with the shallowest dip, so-called flat slab subduction. Examples <laughs> 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 Examples of megathrust earthquakes are listed in the following table. 